Okay. So let's try this problem then. The normal dosage for azithromycin, an antibiotic, is 3.3 milligrams per kilogram. The patient weighs 150 pounds. How much of the medication is needed per dose? And then they give you a conversion factor that one pound equals 454 grams. So let's write that conversion factor. 1.0 pound equals 454 grams. And it also says that the normal dosage for azithromycin is 3.3 milligrams per kilogram. So whenever it says milligrams per kilogram, what it's saying is the dosage is 3.3 milligrams of the drug, whatever that is, in this case is azithromycin, per um, kilogram of patient weight, okay, so per kilogram of patient. Then it says that the patient weighs 150 pounds. Okay. So the mass of the patient is 150 pounds. So one thing you want to notice here is that there's no decimal point after the 150, mm -hmm. right? So this is two sig figs. And this is two sig figs. So your final so answer zero is no. Uh, you're, unless there's a decimal point there, okay. So if it was like here, then it would be three okay. sig figs. But it wouldn't matter anyways because that's the two sig figs, okay. Okay. So what you want to do now is, uh, well, you got milligrams and kilograms here, right? And you want to convert um, this pounds to kilograms, right? Because okay. this is pounds of patient, right? And you want to convert it to kilograms of patient. So you know the conversion factor from pounds to grams, right? So you want to cancel pounds out. So you're going to put 1.0 down here, 1.0 pounds, 454 grams up there. Cancel, cancel, like that. But that gives you grams, right? And you're not looking for grams of patient, right? You're looking for kilograms mm -hmm. of patient. You know this is not going to be given to you. You know in your head that one kilogram equals 1,000 grams, right? You remember that? Yes. And of course, these are these metric to metric conversions that you're never going to get on a general chemistry test. It's just something you got to know your metric system, you know? I'm fairly decent with it. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got, so now if we multiply out our units on the top, our kilograms, multiply out on the bottom, they're nothing, right? So our total units are kilograms. So let's go ahead and multiply that out. So 150 times. 454 times 1 equals 68,100 um, 68, kilograms. And then you're going to divide that by 1,000. Okay. So when you do that, you get 68.1 kilograms. So that's how much your patient weighs in kilograms. Okay. So if you want to, you could say, 68.1 kilograms of patient, because that's your real units. And now you can see, well, the dosage here has that unit kilograms of patient in it, right? Mm -hmm. And it says how much of the medication is needed per dose. So um, I'm assuming that they're wanting it in milligrams, okay? okay. So um, probably if you put it in grams or whatever, you'd get it right. Unless this was a multiple choice test, I guess. It was. And it is. So they want it in milligrams. So <laughs> that's the one you're going to do it in. OK. So you're going to figure out, well, what's the dosage that you're going to give them, right? Mm -hmm. So you got 3.3 milligrams of the drug divided by 1 kilogram of patient. The last thing I'd like you to remember is this wasn't written this way in the problem, right? It was written 
that the dosage is 3.3 milligrams per kilogram. Okay? So the first step we had to do is convert that to what this is. Okay? So this is more recognizable as something that you know we can cancel out and stuff. This is kind of the shortcut or the text message way of doing it. Yeah. Okay. So we multiply that by, of course, 68.1 kilograms of patient. Okay. And notice kilograms of patient cancels out. And again, um, here you should take it to as many sig figs as you can. Take it to as many sig figs as you can. Your final answer is going to be the correct number of sig figs. So um, we just take this 68.1 and multiply it by 3.3. And we get this number 224.73 milligrams of the drug. And of course, that's not two sig figs. Um, well, in this case, they, the answer is to three sig figs. I don't know why. But, um, anyways, if, if this were to two sig figs, so which we should do it to, the answer would be 2.2, because four is less than five, right? Mm -hmm. So we don't look at any of that, because it's only to two sig figs times 10 to the 1, 2. two. Ten, 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 ten. 10 to the 2 milligrams. Okay. So that's the answer. Make sense? Yes.